right, so cleaning the dash since I have the seats out, which makes it way easier. It's a little scratched up there, isn't it? Let's see if we can clean this up. So I have my bucket of water here. Just find it easier to clean up. Take my strong cleaner. Now this piece here is plastic, but this is this is leather. Usually not a lot of oils and fingering goes on here, but this area, depending on what they what they clean the leather with over the years, you want to get this off. I'm not going to clean this Alcantara. It looks pretty good. I did clean this. I steam cleaned the, the center console. I'll show you as soon as I finish the dash. I'll show you what I'm going to do to the Alcantara to finish it up. This is one of those areas I'll probably never clean again. I'll just add shield to it in the future. Oh shoot, is that leather? Might be. And just take some towels, wipe it clean. What, I, what I'm gonna do before I, before I treat this with leather protection cream, I'm going to clean the window first. Now we're gonna pull this tent off. But I do wanna clean the window because I don't know when I'll get to the tent removal. That looks pretty good. Is this whole piece of leather? I think it is. I think I'm gonna I just can't imagine this getting really dirty. That's, I, I don't think that's leather. I think it's just plastic. All right, so let me get the window cleaning stuff. What's up with that? Is that a shadow? Oh, yeah, it's a shadow from the ceiling. I'm telling you guys, windows, this is the ticket. Ugh. Reach and clean tool with the old school bonnet. Throw away that microfiber thing they give with you, give, give to you with it. The bonnets are kind of annoying to put on here, but once you get it on, this is the best solution for the windshield and the back window. <clears throat> Then, I soak the window down. Which means that we soak the dash down that we just cleaned. So that's why I wanted to put the protection cream after. And you don't want to do any kind of anti-fog nonsense. You just want to keep your windows clean. This windshield is tinted, but you want to make sure you clean it. And then you take this, get in all the cracks, get the residual. And that's all you need to do to your windshield. Invisible glass, soak it down. Wipe it as hard as you can. Get the lion's share of it off. And then this is where this comes in. Finish it. It's like foolproof. If your window's really dirty, got all kinds of funk, or it's a new car, you may need to do this several times, two times, but with this one I can tell. One, one and done. Nice and clean. Okay. Sure is nice doing this without the seats in it.
I'm three years old or older, we do our protection leather protector first, then we do shield a little later. leather protector would be especially important if your windows weren't tinted and you had this exposed elements. That's a big enough section. Take our towel. Gently wipe it flat. Even though it's not a night and day difference because this wasn't terrible. You can tell. So I'll let it sit for a few hours and then we'll come and do shield right before I put the seats in. If you leave any behind, that streak is going to stay there for unless you cleaned it again. So you want to make sure you get it wiped nice and flat. Just like that. All right. All right, seats ready to put back together. I'll let these dry overnight because we didn't get them super wet, just damp. They're looking pretty good. I've got my little sanding, my little leather sanding pad. And I'm not going to sand this heavily. It's a little rough right here. But I'm just going to reactivate the fibers. Just kind of going one way. And then back the other way. it like freaking brand new. Just like that. Look at that. And then put this puppy. I already did shield on this last night off camera. So I put the leather shield on so we're good there. I'll just tuck this back in place. That's pretty. This passenger seat looks freaking brand new. Do the same thing here. The other thing that I didn't even think about that would do really well would be to dry ice clean the Alcantara, which would take a whole lot less time than this. She could have done that with the steering wheel. Look that. And we got our little back support here. Let's put this in first. That's real good. say we did okay there. A little, let's 
a little another little coat there. This seat is ready for reinstallation. All right, let's see if we can fix the shift knob. So I've had lots of you reaching out, giving me some, some ideas, answering some of my questions. I don't know that this shift knob is real. I don't see any Porsche. And I don't think they make this anymore. So we're gonna find out if I can fix this thing. And I'm going to figure out, if I can't fix it, what am I going to do? So you want to, when you're, because you don't want to sand any plastics or clear coat around there, so I just want to make sure that I've covered that up. So we got to remove this funkiness, and then we'll find out how much has to be removed, and is it too much? To where it won't recover. Now it's it's like elongated the fibers. They're like two. Let's see, it doesn't really look like Alcantara. This is the risk when it gets too dirty, too gummed up. It doesn't recover. So I mean, although it just looks like some new material, right? Because it should look like this. So this, I can just kind of fluff up and make a little bit prettier. So cleaning this up is pretty easy and that's what we're looking for. Just a little bit of improvement. If we sand off any fibers that are kind of funky but this it's pretty much toast it's still a little long this here looks pretty good see that looks like normal Alcantara See, I wonder if dry ice cleaning and not introducing the water would help keep it looking a little bit more. Because you need to get the dirt and oils out. That's pretty good. There's just a, like a, it's kind of like your headlights. You know, you can restore your headlights, but they never look quite the same. Now, granted, this is underneath the, like, this is like back like this. You can't really see it. I'm probably gonna wanna get a new one anyway. The problem is I don't know that they make this part anymore. how much funk we removed. Yeah. 
I don't love it. It's kind of the same way the Corvette came out, just okay. It's supposed to look like this. See the difference here? We've got some extra fuzziness. That extra fuzziness is not what we're looking for. And that's what happens when you get all the oils and if you don't get them out periodically, we end up with a slightly ratty looking. Piece. I just don't love that. But at least it'll hold me over and I feel have a feeling the steering wheel is gonna come out the same. Not ratty, ratty. It's certainly better than it was when we when this was all flat and like greased up. Just from use. So I think the boot is good if I can find this knob. The thing, lesson I did learn, lot, lots of you have messaged me or commented in the video, the center console on the car was carbon fiber. That was an ex exclusive option. And then the carbon fiber ones crack. And so somebody, one of the previous owners, swapped it for the Alcantara center console. This is the rare one, the carbon fiber one with Alcantara is the one they don't make anymore. That's the... But it's not... I mean, the only thing, I think it's okay. And I mean, you'll see, like you literally can't see it. You can only feel it and it feels good. But I'm not a, I don't know, just not that, that kind of halfway person. So here, this is clean. Not a lot of balling up. So I just kind of want to just reactivate it. So we cleaned this yesterday. Let it dry. Yeah, I'm telling you. Just that little, little fluff up. Be careful with the leather here. there boys boys and girls so we'll vacuum that off oh well, that feels good look how clean that looks Clean that. We're gonna clean the seatbelt here for you in a second. Look at that. That's beautiful. There was like a little smudgeroo, smudgy, smudgy stain there. Now oh, it looks freaking pretty. Dang, I'm good. Should only go on one way. Oh, no, nope, it doesn't shoot. Precise torque spec there. Much better. I think that's, I think that's good, bros. Let's put the shift boot on. to it. I don't like that. Oh, it has to go all the way down. I'm an idiot. It goes like that. There we go. That clips on. This guy goes down like that. And then you twist this in place. Just like that. 
freaking backwards. Are you going to tell me that or what? <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> How the heck did I do that? There we go. That goes there. Surprise, it goes on backwards. <laughs> doesn't. That's why I just broke internally. It's pretty good. This is a good enough garage car or is this a obsessed garage car? I think it's okay. Are these home link buttons for the garage? It must be. Yeah, one, two, three. I can get rid of my garage door opener. Got this good to go, this good to go. Doors are done, doors are sanded, center, center sanded. Yeah, I think I'm wrapping up. Oh, let's do the seatbelt. I need to do the seatbelt first. All right, so let's get the steamer set up. I need to add some more water. This is how you do it. And they give you like a special little bottle. I'm telling you people, this is the steamer you want. I need to become a dealer for this thing like immediately. It's so good. The McCullough's and the others are okay. This one is just, it's just freaking great. It comes with all kinds of accessories and crap that I threw away. Most of them, all I use is this and the tip. And I beat the crap out of this thing and it just keeps, keeps going. All right, let's plug her in, turn it on and let's get our seat belts dialed. Then I can put the seats in and we can call our initial detailing, initial cleanup of the interior done. The interior is nowhere near done. I have to let that heat up. Well, you can see my little contraption here. I've got a little pair of vice grips. This initial section of the belt never comes out, so it's clean. And then this one isn't super dirty, it's just medium dirty. So you can see the, most of that is dye transfer, I think probably from the seat, some of it's dirt, but it's all gonna come out. You'll see what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna steam it. This is a real solid candidate for dry ice cleaning. Like if I had a, I don't have any ice, uh, but this would be a solid candidate to really beat the crap out of this with the dry ice. It would probably pull all this off, but my method that I used on the other side worked great. So, and you can see on here how nice and pretty that came out and this was pretty dirty. So I'm not going to change any of this stuff. Now we're going to get into the exterior shortly, but I did place my order last night from Suncoast. So all these parts are coming. I'm waiting on my cage. So I will have to take the seats out again. We have to wait for this to get 300 degrees. So I'll come back to you in a second. All right, this is why I have 20 of each towel. So in this project, I've used like 18 towels. So let's tighten this up. Let's get it wet. I'm in up here. So on the other side, I assumed using like the upholstery cleaner would work best, uh, the Sonax version. The problem with it is that it was, um, it would keep foaming over and over and over again with the steamer on this. So, and it really wasn't doing any, uh, doing the cleaning that I wanted it to do. So what has actually worked best is I have Coach Kemi Green Star diluted. It's supposed to be 10 to one for the interior. I think I have it set up at five to one. So it's a little bit more aggressive and it was fine. So we spray it down with the all-purpose cleaner. This is a press-all bottle, which I'm still working on getting right. And we dunk this in a bucket. And I've noticed I've got my little contraption here. And just like any fabric, this part is the part that does the cleaning. So that the, the, the sort of agitation of the dirt, now this gets the dirt out by removing the all-purpose cleaner from the seatbelt.
take my towel and clean it the rest of the way. So what is that like? 18 inch section, two foot section, something like that. So then what I'll do is I'll detach my, what are these things called? Vice grip is the brand. We just call them vice grips. Yeah, everybody calls them vice grips, but what are, they're just called something else. Locking pliers or something, I don't know. Repeat. So now if we're getting to the dirty spot, So because this is a seatbelts are porous, I bet you I could dry ice clean this thing to darn near perfection without doing all this work. Spray that down with APC. So on the driver's side, I had to do this like two or three times in some of the sections on this this passenger side it's probably not going to be as much and now if you look on this side Some of the dirt will push through. It's pretty sweet. So now it's the fun part. So there's a difference in clean versus dirty. Now it starts to become a little more prevalent. So this part may take a couple of couple of tries. Look at that dirt. That's not dye transfer, that's dirt. They get moved. Combination of the steamer and the all-purpose cleaner. It's a little more satisfying when you're dealing with this dirt. Look at that. I think we're gonna do this one twice, this section. Look at all that under there, all that dirt. That's great. Look at that. Red makes me think of 997. So, once we get rid of the yellow cage, I think it'll make more sense. It'll look really good. So having the red door pulls. I just ordered the platinum satin wheels, MTSP, BBSs. And um, we're gonna keep the, plat the satinum the, or the platinum looking uprights there. In the last section, you guys are gonna get mad at me, but I don't care. It's my car, I do what I want. Cutting these off. these scissors ARS number 225 number 526H that's what you want you want some life-changing scissors scissors will change your 
outlook on life. So like, oh, ow, ow, it's hot. See this dirt spot right here? We'll get that out, just to put it into perspective. And then this is kind of like medium dirty. We'll get this all cleaned. Tell you, once I put the seats in here and I sit in this thing, it's already gonna feel more like it's mine, you know? It's gonna be pretty cool. Anytime I always get a car, especially a used one, it doesn't feel right. It always feels wrong. I got it. Going away. Clean. Take this off. Look at how crisp red that is, man. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so now, last thing I need to do before I put the seats back in. See this here, Chris? See how chalky white that is? That's no good. Oh, yeah, it's like the BMWs. Yep. <laughs> so, we're gonna fix that. So first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to take this, I'm going to tie this up here, just wrap it around, so that stays there. Then, need some tape. <clears throat> because solution finish, you don't want to get on anything. to this out of the way. This is just in case I get any black on the seatbelt. At least it's the part that's deep inside. Come on, jerk off. Let go. Jeez. Stop curling up. Yeah, this is how I did this on the other side. So then I'm gonna do one more. Oh, I did it again. Now, I'm really not care, I don't care so much about the back part because you're never gonna see that. I care about this front section. So step one is to clean it. I'm gonna use this. It is Meguiar's number 39 on a shop towel. get some of the chalky white nonsense off of this thing but it'll you're wetting it but it's just gonna come right back so that's why we need to treat it with solution finish which is a plastic restorer Okay, then, so this is the stuff we're gonna use. And we're gonna have to put a couple of coats on. So I'm gonna put that in the car. I 
This will seep into the plastic. And my main goal was to get it on the front side here where you can see. And that's it. So I'll wipe the excess off here in a minute. Let it sit there for a minute or two. And it'll look like that when we're done. Uh oh. Did I get it? Oh, shoot. That's bad news. I'll drip. Let me see if I can fix that. I better do another one just to be safe. Pretty darn good, folks. There we go. I feel like I've accomplished a lot in the last day, a couple days. I wonder how many hours I have into this. Probably have six. probably 12 hours, something like that. Seat time, time to put the seats back in. See, look how good that looks. It's real good. I'm stuck. So this seat is perfect. I'll put the bolster protector back on it. That's it. Beautiful. Look how good that looks. God dang. Let's try to get this in here without deperfecting anything. in the hole. right to you Chris try this out oh, shoot okay Thought I saw some schmutz on there that's it that's a spot nice I'm incapable of getting out of it it's like a completely different car on the inside. Maybe it just feels completely different, but I think it looks different too. There's a little cap, a little cap that goes over top of that that I'm missing from the other side. Just gonna spray, spray a little bit of fresh up on the carpets here in the interior. I have this non-diluted just in the spray bottle here. Just make sure. Yep, that's the correct stuff. Got the 
lift this up. You can just spray a little bit on the carpets. Probably should have sprayed it before I put all the stuff in here. I was planning on doing that, but I just didn't. Let's close this. Jump in the seat, see how it feels. See if it feels right. See if it feels any better. You know what? No shoes, no shoes allowed for this sit anyway. Oh yeah. Now it feels like, oh, I gotta vacuum that, shoot. Now it feels like a Matty level car. good step one of interior at least got it to a uh... oh the steering wheel is good man I don't love the little edges here but other than that it's pretty pretty darn good spicing this up here fixing the shift knob having the seat belts look the part Now I don't have the uh, I don't have the other things sticking into my thigh. Down a little bit, right there. Yeah, bros, that's good. This car's off to a good start. Next up, exterior. I'm gonna get those stupid mirrors off of there. We'll see you. Uh, see you on the next video. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'm feeling good. This is gonna be a big project, but we're gonna get it there. Thanks for watching.